high volt bakers. So we all know that you can make a cake in a mug in the microwave. That is nothing new around here. But did you know that you can actually make an entire cake in the microwave? I'm talking full size, three layers, the whole shebang. It is really easy to make. And the best thing about it is it takes less than 10 minutes to cook. I can't wait to show you. So let's get started. So not everybody has access to an oven, but that's okay. We don't let that stop us here on Bigger Boulder Baking. Micro baking or baking in a microwave is a really fun and easy thing to do. And you get to make all the sweet treats and desserts that you like. Now the recipe for this cake can be found on biggerboulderbaking.com. And as always, make sure you tap that subscribe button on YouTube so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Okay, so let's get stuck into our cake. In a large bowl, add in all of your dry ingredients, flour, white sugar, brown sugar, baking powder, baking soda, and salt, and then whisk all these ingredients together. Now this recipe is one of my absolute favorites for yellow cake, so it's a really soft, moist cake, and it's just so good. It's kind of like a vanilla cake. Okay, that's all our dry ingredients. Now we're gonna mix together our wet separately. Into a separate bowl, add your eggs, buttermilk, and vanilla extract, and then whisk all these together. If you don't have buttermilk, you can always use just regular milk or you can make your own buttermilk because I've got a video of how to do that. It is really simple to do and buttermilk makes cakes really lovely and moist. So it's a really important ingredient. And on another note, if you don't eat eggs, you can always check my egg substitute chart of what you can substitute the eggs in this recipe for. Okay, lovely. We're gonna add our wet into our dry ingredients now. So here I have my dry ingredients and I'm going to pour in my buttermilk eggy mix. The next thing we're going to add in is our melted butter. Now what I like to do is melt the butter when I start to make the cake so it's nice at room temperature to add it into the rest of the mix. You don't want it to be hot when you're adding it in there. So go ahead and pour him in. Lovely. And then last but not least, sprinkles because this is going to be a funfetti cake. So in you guys go. I love me some sprinkles. Then I'm going to take my whisk and then gently mix this cake together. Now the same rules apply to all my cake making. Make sure you don't over mix. You don't want to toughen the flour at all. So just give it a quick mix up until all the flour is combined and then stop. So as you can see, this makes a very big cake. It'll probably feed around eight to 10 people happily. It's nice and big, which is the way we like our cakes around here. Okay, perfect. This is all mixed up. Now let's talk tins. So not technically tins, but silicone molds. Now these have to be microwave safe, whatever you put in there. And these are perfect and they're food safe. Now I got these online. They were very inexpensive. And I'm going to put a link on my website where you can buy them directly. You can use any kind of silicone mold that you have. If you have a different shape at home, that is totally fine too. And if you don't have silicone molds and don't want to buy them, that is totally fine. Get a casserole bowl or something that's nice and round that will go in the microwave and you'll cook your cake in there and it'll be lovely. So our molds are ready to go. You can grease them if you want to, but you don't need to because with silicone, it just pops right out. It's one of the beauties of them. So I'm not gonna butter mine. I'm just gonna go ahead and divide my cake batter evenly between the three. When you're dividing your cakes, just eyeball it as best you can to get them as evenly as possible. Fantastic. Now, this is where the magic happens. One by one, we're gonna put each of these molds into the microwave and you're not gonna believe the results. So now here's where the magic happens. Each layer just takes around three minutes to cook. I know it's absolutely crazy. And here we were baking cakes in an oven like a chump the whole time. We could have been making it in the microwave in minutes. So the timing is based on my microwave, which is 1200 watts. Okay, I think I just heard a ping. So let's check on our first layer. Oh my gosh, this turned out even better than expected. It's insane. It rose up. It's lovely, light and fluffy. And you can tell when it's done. If you push down in the middle and it's firm underneath and there's no wetness on the top of your cake. So this is perfectly cooked. Okay, we're going to set him aside, let him cool down and we're going to pop in our next layer. So while the second layer is cooking, I've got three minutes to tell you a little story. Here's a little bit of trivia about Bigger Boulder Baking. Around three years ago, my first mug cake recipe I ever made went viral. That was the first video that ever went viral. We made rainbow cake, red velvet, cookies and cream. It absolutely blew the lid off my channel and bought me in like a huge big audience and this whole idea of making cakes without an oven. So thanks to those recipes, that's where we are right now. And I think this cake in a microwave is a whole other level of baking. I mean, I just can't even believe it. 
Okay, I heard another ping, so let's check on our second layer. Okay, our second layer is looking great. It smells insane in my kitchen right now. Okay, I'm gonna pop in my last layer. So now when it comes to putting the cake in the microwave, don't put in multiple layers at one time. You want to do one layer at a time so they all bake evenly. And just so you know, I'm gonna decorate my cake in my best ever buttercream frosting recipe, which is on my website. There's a video, there's a whole tutorial about how you can get the best ever frosting, because I know it's something that people really struggle with. So I'm gonna cover my cake in that. There we go again, our last layer is done. So here's the crazy part. It took less than 10 minutes to cook off three layers of cake. I mean, that is madness. And you see they rose up really thick and they're light and fluffy. I mean, this is absolutely insane. This microwave cake, I'm telling you, is a serious game changer. Okay, I'm gonna set these guys aside, let them go totally cold before I decorate them. So I left my cakes cooling for around half an hour and they're ready to be decorated. But the beauty of this cake is you can make it two days in advance and then decorate it whenever you need it. It will keep perfectly fresh. Now some simple things about cake decorating. If the top of your cake is a little bit bumpy, take a knife and just cut that bit off until you have a nice flat surface just like this one. Then I'm gonna take my pink butter cream and I'm going to go and frost in between the layers of my cake. Spread a nice generous layer of buttercream frosting on the surface of your cake. I have this handy little cake stand which really helps me decorate cakes because I've said before I'm not the best cake decorator in the world but these kinds of tools help. There you go, that's one layer. Then we're going to take a next layer and continue frosting. In case you haven't seen them already, I've got other videos about cake decorating that go into much more detail and just give you tips and tricks of how to decorate a cake really well and easily. So make sure you check those out. Okay, lovely. Now we're going to go on with our last layer. So for the last layer, turn your cake upside down so you have a nice flat surface and then pop them on top. Then take some more buttercream frosting, a nice big scoop for the top. And then we're gonna take our spatula and just work the frosting over the top of the cake and then down the sides. And what we're going to do here is create a crumb layer. So the reason that we're doing a crumb layer is to catch any loose crumbs of cake. So you just want to do a nice thin layer of frosting, does not have to be thick. And then just go on the top and all along the sides and just catch any crumbs. I'm actually not seeing a whole lot of crumbs on this cake, which is awesome considering that we just cooked it. It's nice and fresh, gorgeous. Now, if you're like me, you've made many a cake and it starts to lean, don't worry about it. You can fix that. Just kind of push it back when you're frosting it and make it all line up. Not all cakes are perfect and they can be a little bit knobbly and bobbly. So just like give it a little bit of a push in the right direction. That's what I do. Okay, perfect, this is my crumb layer. Now I'm gonna pop this into the fridge for a minimum of 30 minutes, let it set and go nice and cold, and then we can decorate on top of this. So it's been half an hour and our crumb layer is set. So now it's time to decorate on top of this. Now all you need is a little thin layer of frosting and just cover over any bits of the cake you can see. Once you have your crumb layer done, decorating the cake actually happens really fast, so it's great. Whoever you think needs a little bit more frosting, just put on a little bit more. Just keep on spreading frosting all around the outside until the whole cake is covered. Just like that. Perfect. Now I've got a few finishing touches that I want to do to this cake. So with a bit of leftover frosting that I have, I'm going to pipe some nice big rosettes along the top of the cake, just to give it a little bit of different texture as well on top. Lovely. You can never have too much buttercream if you ask me. And then I have some sprinkles here, gorgeous little ones, and I'm gonna sprinkle these all over the top. Just a few on top of the rosettes for a little bit of extra color. Just look how pretty they are. Then I'm actually gonna take a few and I'm gonna place it along the side of the cake, just around the bottom, just to make a nice finishing touch. And there you have it. Not in a million years would anybody guess that this whole cake was made in the microwave. It's incredible. Now I'm going to cut it open because I just want you to see how soft and fluffy the cake is on the inside. I knew I was doing three layers, but I just didn't think the cake was gonna be this big. There you go, check that out fluffy, soft cake made in the microwave. That is mind blowing. This is fantastic. This cake is perfect for any celebration, whether you have an oven or not. I really hope you try it. Oh my gosh, this cake is so soft. So here's the thing. If you don't have an oven to bake a cake, you do not have to be left out. You can make it in the microwave. You saw under 10 minutes, really, really fast. And the results are absolutely amazing. Mm. You guys are gonna love this recipe. I really hope you try it. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you back here really soon for more bigger, bolder baking.